if you could open, it, Joan Dark says, if you could open any type of store or business, assuming money is no object, what would it be? Why are you asking yourself the what hardest question? Would it be? <laughs> yeah. What would you do, Ryan? I would Since open you've it. had the most time to read this. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Make that weird cat sound. <laughs> you take the hat all over the side of my face. Adult yeah, man hairball yeah. removal the company. A, the sound of a dog barking in reverse. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. A Kleenex factory. I open a doctor's office that'll get the itchy and scratchy <laughs> fight out of my neck. <laughs> um, Find a cure for black lung. Outside of, outside of a, a business that manages my... My, uh, you know, <sighs> your enormous wealth. Insane, my enormous wealth. If we're putting that aside, I'd open something crazy like an arcade. If I, that just sounds so wow. cool. Yeah. If you could own what a really lunacy. cool, if you could own a really cool arcade, like it was the nine, like the eighties or nineties or something, oh, that'd be so cool. Wow. Yeah. Have some Street Fighter tournaments. Yeah, I call it Flynn's. What if gang showed up? What would you do? Yeah, I don't know. I would, would hire just... Bimmy and Jimmy Lee to come and <laughs> work that out for me. How would you handle? Yeah, how would you handle hoodlums? You would hire an Asian man and his white brother to take care of all the gang problems. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Great. That sounds like a sound business. What kind of food would you serve there? Nachos. Yeah, arcade stuff like pizza, nachos. You know, beige food. Hot dogs. <laughs> all my beige yeah. favorites. As Slurpees. Long, as long as it's frozen or in a bag, it's good enough for Ryan's place. Ochre milk. What would you call mustard. it? Would you have a? Would you have a? Would you have a cool name for your establishment? Because I know you've thought about opening up your own arcade in a dream yeah, scenario. It's fresh. It's chill. It's Noah's arcade. What are you gonna call it? I don't I don't know. You haven't thought about that? No. You don't really? Have, you don't, That's a lie. I have the perfect one. Jefferson Super Bowls <laughs> Holocaust Arcade. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm sure that would... Uh... That would quarter, uh, quarter life crisis. That's yeah. a good that was a real that was a real arcade. Was oh. That was a real arcade when the, I was the Reagan years. Yeah, the Reagan years. Those yeah. those were two real arcades. Uh, quarter life crisis. Was, yeah. Now yeah. it's the real circumstance you find yourself in. With the Reagan years. No, no the quarter life how many, crisis. Uh, architecturally, how many floors would this be? Oh, Fourteen. God, money, money was no object. I One for ha- each decade. I ooh. There we go. Okay, so fourteen floors. How are you getting from floor to floor? How about twisty slide? <laughs> you gotta mm. climb up and like double there. Shape like gotta, a big fried fun. Uh, you gotta climb up a rope. Oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta really that. earn earn that uh so you, really, you couldn't so uh, you would never go upstairs. <laughs> you can't you, uh, climb that rope. You start off at the bottom in the nineteen sixties or whatever where it's just like pong and if you really so want to get to the good stuff you gotta climb. What if you uh <laughs> All right, the, that's, that's terrible. Wait, bottom. you gotta climb two floors to get to the the good the, the good stuff. You start, you start with the bottom the bottom floor is like brand new shit like Terminator Salvation, the arcade game, and oh, okay. you keep there going you go. up and as you get higher you get to the very attic and you look out the windows, you're like, Oh good god. And it's just a bunch of like wooden balls and hoops and shit yeah. on the roof. So you want the oldest men to climb the tallest rope to get to the top to play fucking Man. palm? Yeah, did I stutter? <laughs> on a roof. <laughs> did I stutter? <laughs> um, I mean not now. What would you? What kind of businesses would you open? Money's no object. Yeah. Oh, fucking the, the Double Dare Museum there. Really? <laughs> oh wow. That's fucking weird, right? I was just trying to think of the weirdest thing. If money's no object, you could collect, collect or recreate all of the Double Dare obstacles. You could recreate the set, and then you could recreate a duplicate set and have Double Dare birthday parties and challenges. <laughs> I would open up a competing arcade across the street. From <laughs> It would be all flat. Okay. There wouldn't be any ropes to climb for anyone. Excellent. And all the games were fresh. Yep. There'd be a full bar. And chill. Yep. There'd be all the screen. Everything would be clean. And I wouldn't... Come bust a move where the games are played. I wouldn't just have Billy and Jimmy. I'd also have the entire (laughs) Mad Gear gang in the Shadow (laughs) Warriors. All, also, all of Brian's games would be free to play. Exactly. My my arcade would not be profitable at all, but it would be designed specifically to put yours out of business. Well, money's no object. Exactly. And the second yours went out of business, would I, would you cease, have... I would cease operations because <laughs> my entire business plan is to destroy you. <laughs> would you have Xantar? Yeah, we'd, oh, have, yeah, we'd, have, all, we'd have every drug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the video well, game about yeah. the gelatinous you have, yeah, I want yeah. you to come over and take Molly, take Xantar, take whatever the fuck you want. Well, after all those rancid nachos at Ryan's establishment, I'm going to need some Xantar for this acid reflux. <laughs> you get all fucked up. My, my whole thing, I, I would get like 15-year-old kids to come in. I'd get them high as a kite, yeah. and I'd send them over to your arcade and I'd call the cops. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. I'd be like, Molly, these Molly's Antar yeah. boys are in here getting fucked up again. I um, think I saw them scurry across the street. Yeah, they were They're smoking. all fucked up on Tomax and Zayma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of kids out back smoking some fucking mesothelioma. Yep, yep. <laughs> I think I need to rethink my business venture. So money's really? no object? Yeah. All right. Mine is called money's any object where they take your spare change <laughs> and they <laughs> print anything you <laughs> <laughs> I like it's, like a, I like it's like a coin like star fucked like, in shape ways. Three, it's like 3D printing coin star. That's it's like great. it's build a bear. Oh. Yeah, that's <laughs> build a bear out of money. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> I really like that. Money is every object. <laughs> what about you, Brian? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, it's a salad bowl made out of $100 bills. <laughs> oh. I already told you mine. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's my Just computer. Just an arcade that bullies people. <laughs> Oh, I love hey. the idea of two competing arcades <laughs> where money is no object, <laughs> and they're trying to put, they're trying to put each other out of business, <laughs> but they can't because it doesn't. Matter. God, God, it's like that movie, The Prestige, but for arcades. <laughs> Like money oh, is any shit. object is very that's <laughs> no, is one it? of the funniest things. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is, is our it best money, episode. Is it, is it money is any object or money is every object? Money is any object. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just running my, my very successful 3D printing business on the side here, and you guys are just going ahead and call the fucking cops. And <laughs> I'm across the street going, like, does anybody want to ride the tongue slide? <laughs> I have the original yeah, one. Uh, somebody, uh, somebody, sh- somebody spray painted a large phallus on the window of the neighboring arcade. I think it should be shut down. <laughs> Don't, I'm saying, or like a large tarp put over it. At least it's very rude. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bunch of the money from my arcade, get it melted down, get it turned into a gun at, at Max's store, and plant it in your store, Ryan. You can't melt down money. That's illegal. <laughs> yes, you can. Yeah. You can. You yes, can and money is you any can object. It. Money is any object. Yeah, you just get it reprinted as other money. <laughs> if you don't show up, you just run in there. Yeah. You know what's more illegal than melting down money? A 15 year old kid on Molly holding a gun. <laughs> God, <laughs> trying to climb a fucking rope to play pong. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <Whoa>. shit! <laughs> Somebody please build this in Sim City or something. Like, just show this. Show what this fucking neighborhood looks like. We can't be. T- we can't be trusted with four local businesses. <laughs> My, at this point, my business is fucking empty. <laughs> it's just fucking tumbleweeds going through. Well, welcome to River City. Oh, jeez. Money is no object. Somehow you're all bankrupt. How did you do it? Because money is every object. <laughs> we took all the money and we turned it into lots of different objects. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway. You're fucked, Ryan. I'm taking you down. <laughs> 